Kilmarnock knew that three points against Aberdeen would take them into level third with Rangers who played Sunday and after an early slip from Don's keeper Ryan Essen Andy McLaren saw his effort headed away by Philip Maguire Maguire did well to get back goal side after Essen lost his footing although on reflection a square ball to the waiting Ali McCoist might have served Kilmarnock better But the home side went one better after 27 minutes, when with the visitors' back line caught square, Ali Mitchell beat Essen with his first touch. It was Paul Wright's ball between Derek White and Kevin McNaughton that did the damage, and Mitchell had the composure to finish. Andy McLaren's rehabilitation continues to gather pace at Rugby Park, and it was the winger's persistence here that allowed Gary Hay to hang a cross up at the back post for Ali McCoist. The Dons did have one chance to save a point when Killy's Chris Innes fell asleep in the ball here. Young Chris Clark couldn't quite make it count and Aberdeen headed back up the road empty-handed. 1-0 it finished. Celtic lead by two points from Hibs with a game in hand. Rangers are third with Kilmarnock, Dundee and St. Johnson making up the top half. Very pleased with the result, although Aberdeen did put us under a lot of pressure at times. But uh, we were really creating many chances. I felt we defended strongly and uh, we rode a luck at times. I think the, the team showed a lot of spirit today and, uh, and they fought very hard. Uh, but uh, unfortunately we didn't get anything with us back to, to Aberdeen, which is uh, uh, a big disappointment. Yeah, I think last year we drew about 13 games and that killed us really. Uh, as I say, we've not started performance-wise too great, but uh, we're getting the results. In two and two games for you? Definitely, I'm really happy with that. Uh, I think I should be meant maybe scoring some of the goals I've seen as we've got two now, so I'm well on target.